Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Jamila and we are finally back with another weekly wax melting basket. And we have like three weeks worth of melts. Um, I was really having a hard time trying to balance working a lot and everything I have going on and making the face-to-face -face videos. So for now, we will do the face-to-face -face videos when I can. So, and if I can't, I'd rather get these videos up for you guys than just keep delaying, you know what I mean? So, we're just going to hop in all the empties we have. So, the first empty we have is Quarantine 15 from Rose Girls. It's white cake, vanilla crunch donut, sugar cookie, and cherry almond. It's been so long since I melted this, but I do remember this performing pretty well. It was like a moderate throw, moderate. It was pretty, um, it was pretty decent. Um, I do have, I'm not sure if this was my last one, but I bought several of these and I would definitely pick it up again. It was really, really nice, like nice cherry notes. Next we have from L3 Irish cream. I, why can't I get it? Irish cream cappuccino and sugar cookie. And this scent, I do remember this scent because I melted it recently. And I don't think it had like that strong coffee scent I was looking for. But I mean, it's more of like um not a strong coffee scent, if that makes sense. Um, I probably won't pick it up again because I like a good strong caf um coffee scent, but if I got in a sample or something, I would melt it again. It didn't stink or anything. So there's that. Next, we have Series Black um, from Fantasy Wax Melts. This is Blueberry Lemon Donut. And this one really performed really well. You definitely got that blueberry and lemon. Not much of the donut like bakery note, but the blueberry and lemon scent was really really nice together i really enjoyed this scent and a nice throw next this is how long it's been l3 we next from l3 we have fresh baked bread blueberry sugar type sugar cookie royale i melted this a minute ago and i remember loving this it had that bready note with those that blueberry scent so yes i would definitely pick this up i definitely enjoyed this loaf for sure from rose girls we have getting caught in the rain which is rum soaked pineapple maraschino cherries coconut and salty sierra i really enjoyed this scent i do remember this one um I really enjoyed you got those cherry notes and that pineapple with that salty sea air. I think I pulled it for the bathroom, but I ended up melting it everywhere in my house. It really smelled so good. Another one from Rose Girls is the blend for me, which is bourbon soap, bananas, brown sugar, waffle cone, ice cream, and whipped cream. And this scent, I had a few of these and I was just trying to melt through it because it was not my favorite banana scent. The banana scent was not very strong to me. And I love a good banana scent, especially banana bakery. So I probably would not pick this up again. So there's that. Next from Rose Girls, we have When Life Gives You Lemons. This is Lemonade Rainbow Rainbow Sherbet, Cherry Berry Punch, Blue Hawaiian, Satsuma, and Pineapple. This was a very strong fruity scent. I really enjoyed it, but I wouldn't do this if you have like a headache or tend to like get a headache from super strong scents. This would not be one of them, but if you want a good fruity, just in your face scent, this is your girl. I really enjoyed this. I definitely picked this up again because sometimes you want a nice little fruity strong scent. Next from Black Magic Melts, we have Night Stalker, which is Dark Musk. And yeah, I'm not that big a fan of Dark Musk in general or this Dark Musk. This is the only musk scent I've ever had by itself. So as for me, I probably wouldn't pick it up again. It's just the scent I'm not a fan of. But if you like a good Dark Musk, this is very strong. The throw was really good. And yeah. 
There's that. Next, we have Bucket Killer from Black Magic Milks. It's in the scent Mahogany Teakwood. And oh my goodness, I love Mahogany Teakwood. Oh my gosh. I need more. I definitely need more of these scents. Like, oh my goodness. I'm going to have to request that to come back because that is such a vibe. Um, Next, from L3, we have Lavender Malo Spin Cycle. Um... Let me see if I remember this scent. Yes, I remember. This is a nice laundry scent that I love to put in the bathroom. So, yes. Really, really enjoyed that scent right there. Next, from Fantasy Wax Melts, we have Minnie Mouse, which is Summer Scoop Type. This smells like strawberry ice cream. It smells so good. And I really enjoyed this scent. Um... I'm actually getting a wax warmer for this room we're in. I don't know if I mentioned that I did move my desk into like an office space area into another room. So I'm super excited to get another melter so we can melt even more wax. And that way I can buy more. Um, so yes, I really enjoyed that scent. Next from L3, we have green clover and aloe bonsai and clean cotton. Yes, oh my goodness, this is a great um laundry scent. I definitely enjoyed melting this in the bathroom, and I had never heard of green clover and aloe or bonsai. I love a good clean cotton, but yes, I really enjoyed this, so I would definitely pick that up again if I came across it. Oh my goodness, y'all. L3's Scoopable Lavender Don't Cross Streams, which is adipose, vanilla cookies, vanilla wafer, vanilla ice cream. This is holy grail. Like, mm, I love this scent. That lavender with those like bakery marshmallow notes, a vibe. Like, you can't go wrong with lavender don't cross streams. So, I'm going to set that to the side so I can put that on my favorite twist. Next, from, um, Rose Girls, we have the Cherry Berry Punch. This is another like in your face, fruity, strong scent. I definitely would pick this up again. I had multiples. I'm not sure if I have any more, but at one point I did have multiples and I did not regret buying multiples. It's just that good. Next from L3, we have Cranberry Marmalade, White Elephant Exchange, and White Elephant Exchange is Powdered Donuts. Vanilla wafers, white cake, vanilla frosting. Let's see. Um, I don't remember if I enjoyed this, to be honest. I'm not huge on cranberry, and I remember remember not really enjoying it. In the bag, it's probably been so long that all I'm getting is the white elephant exchange, not the cranberry marmalade. And I'm not big on cranberry scent, so... This scent, I don't think I would pick it up again. Next from Fantasy Wax Melts. Yeah, I knew we had two of these. I had two of Wish, which is, this is the original, like, Fantasy Wax Melts and SPC collab labels. And I still had some, which these are probably, like, two years old right now. But they still perform so well. I absolutely love this scent. I cannot remember if this is a corset in the shop. Don't know. But if it's not, it should be. It's so good. It's the, supposed to be the dupe for Bum Bum. I think Bum Bum. But yes, it just smells so good. It's salted caramel, pistachio, and soft citrus. I really smell the caramel and the soft citrus. It's just so good. Love that scent. Oh, we had another wish right here. So clearly, I love that scent. Um, let's see, what else do we have? The next scent we have is DJ Tanner. Um, yeah, we had DJ Tanner, which is Rice Krispie Treats Cotton Candy Frosting. If you guys have been on my journey with this scent, I was like, it just doesn't throw, it just doesn't throw, and it threw this time. It really, really threw it. And I loved it. So clearly, I just needed to like cure it for quite some time. So yes, I really enjoyed this scent this time. Next, from Fantasy Wax Melts, we have Joey Gladstone, which is sugar corn pudding. I really enjoyed this scent. I needed to come back again. 
it's just amazing. So yes, it's just like that. Um, like it's just like a bakery sweet scent. I, I it's hard to explain a sugar corn pudding because I've never ate corn pudding before, but it's just like a sweet bakery situation. Um, it's like bakery and cereal mixed. That's the only way I can describe it. It's so good. Next from um, Fantasy Wax Melts, we have Bowser, which is banana cream pie and whole wheat bread. This scent, oh my goodness, y'all. That whole wheat bread, like it's kind of yeasty, but not too yeasty. Along with the banana scent, amazing. I definitely need this again. I wish she ha I had more. I don't think I have any more of that scent. Next, we have Second Test, which is Salty Sea Air and Fizzy Pop. And I mean, you just can't go wrong with Salty Sea Air and Fizzy Pop. I put it in the bathroom because that's where I like those type of scent. Fizzy or Salty Sea Airs, they go in the bathroom. So yeah, I really enjoyed that. Next, from the Pharmacist Starter, we have a sampler, which is Big Hair, Big Dreams. And I remember this scent smelling yes really really nice it's like a like florally perfume type of scent it smells so good i don't know the scent notes but it smells so so good next from rose girls we have flamingo which it was this was a sampler it's peach orange sherbet strawberry raspberry guava and mango and this performed really really well also it was just so good it was like another one of those strong fruity scents and i melted in the kitchen and it really threw really well next we have from black magic milk it's the mew i think that's called pink sugar type and it's just your classic pink sugar type i personally love a good pink sugar so i would definitely pick that up again it threw really really well this is what's the older wax i miss the older wax um but yes Really, really enjoyed that. And those are all my empties. So I'm gonna put my, what I will be melting for this week up on the desk. So let's get into our carryovers. We have this scent, it's a um, loaf from L3. It's Yugo Glen Cocoa, which is cocoa butter, cashmere, cashmere cedar. Today is October 3rd. Palo Santo Sugar Cookie Royale Toasted Malo. So, I don't even know if I recorded me pulling some of these things. I probably did not. So, there's that. But I love you, go, you go Glen Coco. To me, I will melt to your round. But I guess some of these are fall scents. But I love Palo Santo and Cashmere. So, this is a definite go year round. So that's the first scent we have. The next is Farewell Farewell Betty White. It's Cup of Cake, White Cake, Buttercream Frosting, Cream Cheese Frosting, Cupcakes at Tiffany's. And this scent is just your classic, like, sweet, super sweet cupcake scent, like with vanilla, like a vanilla cupcake with vanilla frosting. That's what it smells like to me. And then we have another um, carryover Saturday morning cartoons, Pink Frosted Animal Cookies um, from L3. And you definitely smell that Pink Frosted Animal Cookies. Um, it says this scent is made up of a combination of, our, of all our favorite cereals and milk. This smells like if you was put Fruit Loops like the milk once you put the fruit loops in the milk this smell would be what that milk would smell like i hope that makes sense like after you eat all the fruit loops out of the bowl and you have the milk left and it smells so good so is that all of the oh no we have one more carryover it's sweet on pears let them eat cake pink sugar and this is a super floral perfuming scent. I love it. Oh, so good. And now let's just get into what we pulled. We didn't pull much because we had that loaf and 
a few scoopables and stuff so we only pulled a few things so the first thing we pulled is zucchini bread and blueberry cobbler from fantasy wax melts yes i definitely smell the zucchini bread oh and then i do get the hint of blueberry cobbler so i've melt i feel like i've melted that one before but we'll see if it's stronger now that it's cured longer next we have sleep paralysis which is caramel praline zucchini bread cream cheese frosting from l3 mm, i definitely smell that butteriness and the nuttiness from the caramel caramelized praline and that's mostly what i smell but maybe that zucchini bread will come out on warm next i'm just gonna pull these together i pick these two to melt together we have fresh picked strawberries and baked zucchini bread from rose girls i will be melting these together so yes um this fresh picked strawberries smells like literally fresh picked strawberries that are so juicy and just good and then we bake zucchini bread. Smells just like baked zucchini bread, which to me, a lot of times zucchini bread smells like nothing on cold, in my opinion. But I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Um, oh, next we have I Need a Vacation. I feel like my aunt, my aunt was at my house not too long ago. And I let her go through my wax set. So I think she took a few of these, which is fine. So this is not like the full thing, but this is I Need a Vacation, which is Gilligan's Brew, Pina Colada, Strawberry Raspberry Guava, Marshmallow Smoothie. Mmm, that smells so good. I definitely smell that Pina Colada. And like maybe the Raspberry Guava, like fruity Pina Colada. It reminds me of the beach. Oh, that smells so good next we have um from l3 cider lane tea and cakes espresso toasted malo this is our coffee scene of the week and it definitely has a stronger coffee scent with that espresso so hopefully it does your girl well hopefully it performs well for me because i love a good strong coffee scent Next, from Fantasy Wax Melts, we have Monica and Chandler, which is DNC Light Blue from N Type. I actually personally own the DNC Light Blue, the women one, but I'm just melting this. Maybe it'll perform better. In the past, it has not. Um, next, we have a sampler from the pharmacist's daughter. It says drinks on the pier. Let's see. Mm, that does smell so good it gives salty sea air with like some i don't know what other scent notes those are but they smell really good and maybe once i melt it i'll be able to like pin it pin down the notes and last but not least we have the calm before the storm which is eucalyptus rain and zen this is clearly a bathroom scent mm. Or like if you have a headache or you want to go to bed, a good night's sleep, this is definitely it. The eucalyptus is strong. But if you don't like eucalyptus, don't get it. I'll probably melt in this in the bathroom because eucalyptus smells like Vicks Vapor Rub and I'm not a fan. Uh, but that, it might be okay once the rain and the zen goes in. It's not terrible to me. So, yes, guys, that is all I have for you guys for this video. I promise that we're going to have a video up next week, a melting basket up next week. So, yes, guys, like I said, that is all I have for you guys today. If you like my content, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.